in Conway, Arkansas. Just uh, took the two lanes, the back roads over this way. And uh, I don't know if I'm getting uh, going the right way or not. I think I wanted to take that exit there. Anyway. is famous for toad suck days and uh, that happens in spring late spring early summer something like that I can't remember the dates but uh, they the big thing you know they have like a street fairs and things like that down here and they have the big old toad race <laughs> which is pretty good you know, you know they'll have car shows and food vendors and concerts and and uh, it's really something to see this community Conway it's uh, become a bedroom community I don't know what I have to do some research on the history but there used to be a lot of oh yeah they had bus factories here and furniture factories I have to believe some of the bus factories are still here They've changed their names. I don't know of any furniture factory that's still open. Yeah, it looks like, oh wow, this does turn out looking pretty good. All right, I'm glad I came. made it here to uh, Toad Suck Harley Davidson Conway and uh, we're going to go around here and look at the bikes and such that are, that are going to be judged and look at the cars and things like that. Anyways, oh, I don't know if I got that stretched out far enough. I'll be cutting my face really, really a lot. So let's go start walking around and see what's happening. My link is just custom made from a local machinist. Oh, okay. Go this way. There you go. Shabby, all right. So who put all these little? I did one by one. One by one. My bumper has over fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. They're Swarovski crystals. Wow. And when it's sunny, it's really shiny. I so, bet. Yeah. Sad, but you're sad that it's overcast. I know, I'm like, is that sun gonna come out? <laughs> yeah. so, and I'm known as Shabby, so yeah. Okay, Shabby. How long you, did it take you to do this? The Shabby up there on my um, gas cap, that was five hours. Five and hours. And then I messed it up. It was a tad crooked, so I scraped it all off, cleaned it up with alcohol, and redid it. And I'm happy with it. Oh. Three evenings. Yeah, it's all the way around. Like all the way underneath it too. That's really something else. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm happy so you did it all, you did every little? Yep. Yep, my hat helmet. All right. And then it's so fantastic. shabby. 
so yeah I'm <laughs> Oh. I really like those pipes on there. Thank you. Over at T-Magazine. I've, I've seen it before. Been in three calendars. Yes. Uh, didn't I see that one the other day on that Evil Knievel movie? Sir? Didn't I see that one the other day on that Evil Knievel movie? Well, this is, this is a replica. What's your name, by the way? James Evil Nash. James Evil Nash? Yep. I'm the great James Evil Nash. I'm known from coast to coast like butter and toast. Okay. <laughs> we like to. So I was an Evil Knievel it. fan. Oh, me I too. Well, I got know. lucky and I went to Vegas in 1989 when Robbie yeah. jumped Caesar's Palace. Right. I flew out there, right. watched the jump, and then the next night I flew back. Right. Uh, that cost me five thousand dollars. Oh, okay. Uh, in 2004, I had this custom built, and then. As soon as I got it finished, I took it to Butte, Montana and had able to autograph it in 18 karat gold. Oh, wow. Last year, I bought a Sportster and I've always right. wanted an Evil Knievel jump bike that I could ride on the street. Right. So uh, I came up with this and this is what I got. Well, it looks really and sharp. It, and it, 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 it does real sharp. good right now. I'm not finished with it. I still yeah. got another thousand to spend or so. Yeah. Uh, I got to get a 19 inch rear wheel and I'm changing it to a sprocket and chain a drive uh that look, way I, that way i can do wheelies to with give more less of the effort. authentic look yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 1965 Ford thunderbird like convertible like this thing is awesome Here we have a 1929 Chevrolet International two-door coupe. Love these old Impalas. My dad had one of these. There's the convertible. And here comes the judge. Almost. GTO. Let's see what it says here. 1970 Pontiac GTO. That was 69, sold from public views. Oh, 
works for them. They wanted to get, the motor always wanted to get a reverse foot in it, and I had to get uh, yeah. And here's a Barracuda. Big cars. up there for the window down. He showed it a little bit, and then he put it up on blocks and let the air out of the tires, and it set the barn for 32. Oh, wow. Then I, oh, so I had a lot of work to do when I got it. I'm glad. I mean, not that bad. I mean, the well, paint, the interior, and everything's factory. Right. You know? yeah. And uh, on it. we took the engine and transmission out and freshened them up, put the gaskets and seals and stuff right. in it so we could drive it. And it would be dependable. Yes. Yeah, it just sit there. It just and I kept telling him, man, you're letting it, you're letting it go to crap, you know. Yeah. And he was. He wouldn't let me have it for a long well, time. And then finally, that, he, that can be a daily ride. Oh, it could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it could. 
I, yeah. I work in, in uh, Conway and I live in Clinton and man, I drive it back and forth to work sometimes yeah. just because you got to exercise them, you know, you got to drive them. Yeah. yeah. When I was a kid, I used to hate that color. Oh, me but, too. I, I see a Mustang, I go, why ain't guy buy a Mustang that color? But you know what? Nowadays, I love that color. Yeah, it's a mine gold. <laughs> you know, we didn't see the gold tint in it back then. It was right. just a crappy well, looking green, you know. Back then, we all wanted real bright yeah. metal flake stuff. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, now when I see that color, when, you know. It's like, well, that's rare. And some of the Ford <laughs> products they put out in the last decade, some of the cars got that color. Yeah. Go, that's yeah. Okay. They're yeah. going back to some of the yeah. old colors. Especially with the, the Mustangs and things yeah. like that. And I go, wow, you know, that is cool. What model year is this? This is a 1970 Ford F100 Long Bed Custom. Oh, I thought it looked. I had one of these ones. I think it's a 72 model. Okay. And, but they look, all of them look about the same back then. And my fender is totally rusted out. Ooh. And I was going down the highway. I was living in West Virginia at the time. Okay. I hit a uh, pothole, and this whole fender came around and oh. slapped back here. <laughs> it creased right there. Yeah. We brought it out here. It's been about six years that it took us to build this how we right. wanted it. And it's supposed to be more of a 50s. Hot, uh, 50s tattoo style truck right. or back when you were in high school I noticed the moon <laughs> oh yeah uh, the moon gas pedal. pedal yeah Yeah. let me open it up so yeah, you can sure. show everything oh, all you right red pink <laughs> oh yeah we love rat pink here oh yeah yeah I remember guys putting those moon or that style but, in there. Oh, yeah. Flying eye. I'll be in charge of talking about it. So, you're originally from California, Los Calif Angeles, oh, California. Okay. Uh, why, 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 how come you came to Arkansas? <laughs> Everybody asked that. Well, it first started with a dart and a, and a map of the U.S. No. <laughs> My dad used to travel for. Uh, yeah. For a living and all that, yeah. and he's been here, and we he fell in love with it, and okay. we wanted more of the slower paced, more of the morals, more of the good yeah. people, and okay. once we moved out here, we instantly fell in love. Oh, that's a great place. I'm not from around here either. It's I grew up opinion. I grew up in Toledo. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Side one shifter. Side one shifter. We can turn this thing around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
9.6, Teach. 9.6. That was some. Let me reset this. See, I'm not even seeing where they're going. On your mark, get set, go. He's making it around. He's making it around. There we go. 14.5. Hang around, James. We got to see if the other guy makes it through. Or the lady. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to name her Pinky. Pinky Tuscadero. I'm giving my age away right there. If y'all remember Happy Days. Pinky Tuscadero. Are you ready, Pinky? On your mark. Get set. Go. Put your hands together for her. Give her some noise. Give her some noise. Look at her. Look at her. See you ladies out there. You can ride these horses. I think you got to beat nine seconds. I think you might be able to do it. Y'all give them some room and watch out because Teach is going to push the limits right now. Are you ready, Teach? People, are you ready? Give a big hand for Teach. Put it out there. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. There he is, he's going around the corner, he's going around the corner, he's going around the corner, corner number two, coming around number three, and he's making it in any, whoa, he pulled him back around, wait a second, 8.57! Now see there, didn't I tell you, he was going to push the limit? Come on over here, little, little binker. You got to beat 8.5 seconds. I was going to grab that bike. Now don't wreck your bikes. You just tell me when you're ready. You ready? Everyone put your hands together for Beaker. Are you ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. And there he goes off on the round the corner and coming around corner number three. And he's going back around. He's in five coming down in and coming. And there he goes at around 7.9 seconds. Teach, I think you can do it if you don't go so wide. Hands together for Teach. Are you ready? 7.9 seconds. On your mark, get set, go. And there he goes, he's coming around the other turn, he's turning around. Oh, he went kind of wide. Oh, and eight, back down to nine seconds. Baker, it looks like you took the win. Come on up here, Baker. Give us one of those little willies that you was doing. Don't, don't hurt yourself. There he goes. Thank y'all for coming in. We're going to give away some more stuff here in a second. All right. Do you want anything from Harley Davidson? He says, hell yeah. He wants a Harley Davidson. Well, here, right here, we're giving him a $50 gift certificate, gift card to Harley Davidson. He might need to go get some gas for that thing. Or is it battery operated? Two dollars and it goes 90 miles. Well, I'm gonna call it a day. Head back to Little Rock. I hope I can make a pretty good video out of this. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, hit like. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, help it. I'm going to bring you Keep your biker. Uh, see, see you on the yeah. flip side. Uh, uh, you're not taking a gal.